matter again with the next state of matter that is the gaseous state. Now here again we are going to discuss the same properties that is whether the gases have got a fixed volume or not. What about the state? What about the shape of these gases? What about compressibility, diffusion and other things? Let us recall gases have got particles of matter far away from each other. That means they have got too much amount of space between the particles. With the result, the force of attraction between the particles is also very less. Now, here is one activity in this book and that says you are going to take three syringes without the needle of course. Remember the syringes used for the injection, right? Now, you are going to fit in the rubber cork so that the nozzle gets closed. You are going to remove the piston here and you are going to fill the syringes, three of these syringes. So, you are going to fill the syringes, one with the water, other with the chalk powder and the third syringe you are going to leave untouched. Why untouched? And what is in that syringe? If you leave it untouched, that syringe would have air. So, I repeat, three syringes to be taken in the experiment. One syringe has got air, the second has got water in this and the third syringe has got pieces of chalk. Each of the three, air, water and chalk, represent the three states of matter that is gas, liquid and solid. Now, again insert the piston into the syringe. If you find that inserting piston is difficult, you may apply some kind of lubrication here that is Vaseline on the pistons before inserting them into the syringes. Now, compress the content by pushing the piston in each of these syringes. What do we observe? We find and we are going to observe in which case was the piston easily pushed in, right? We will record our observations. Now, we observe that when <clears throat> we push the piston, if we find it easier to push the piston in case of the gases. So, we say gases are highly compressible. You can compress the gas. Whereas, when we talk about pushing the piston in the liquid state, it is a little difficult. Whereas, in the state of the solid, that is the chalk powder filled in the syringe, pushing the piston in the syringe was very difficult. So, if you put in the order... Solids, negligible compressibility, liquids, little more than the solids, whereas gases, maximum compressibility. And it is this particular characteristic of the nature, the characteristic of the gases, that we are able to use the, may you, we can have the applications of gases, compressibility, based on the compressibility. Let's see. The liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, cylinder that we get in our home for cooking or the oxygen supply to hospitals in the cylinder is a compressed gas. Oxygen supply to hospitals in the cylinder is a compressed gas. So, you can fill large volume of gas in the cylinder in the compressed state. When you take petroleum gas and you fill it in the cylinders in the compressed state, that petroleum gas turns into the liquid state. <coughs> when you switch on your gas, then the liquefied gas again turns back into the gaseous state. Compressed natural gas, CNG, is used as a fuel in the vehicles. Due to its high compressibility, large volumes of gas can be compressed into small cylinder and transported easily. So you have seen the examples of where the mountaineers go into the mountains. They carry oxygen cylinders with them. This oxygen is able to help them survive in those rough terrains. We even take the example of divers diving deep into the oceans. What helps them to survive? It is the oxygen that they get from the oxygen cylinders. So, oxygen could be compressed into large amount of large volume of oxygen could be compressed into these cylinders and these people could carry to those rough terrains. Right Now, we talk about the next thing and that is the diffusion, property of diffusion of the gases. Here again we take something which we have discussed earlier. We come to know what is being cooked in the kitchen without even entering there. Remember, we have done this, diffusion, right? How does the smell reach us? The particles of the aroma of food. Aroma is khushbu. The particles of the aroma of food mix with the particles of air. We use the word diffusion here. 
the particles of the aroma of food diffuse with the particles of air spread from the kitchen reach us and even farther away the smell of hot cooked food reaches us in seconds compare this with the rate of diffusion of solids and liquids so the hot cooked food has got the particles of hot cooked food have got more kinetic energy more kinetic energy means the particles are going to move with more speed the high speed of the particles will be there and because of the high speed of the particles and large space two things high speed of the particles and this is because of the kinetic energy and large space between them gases show the property of diffusing very fast into other gases so if i compare the rate of diffusion of solids liquids and gases gases diffuse very fast into the other matter whereas liquids are moderate solids have got least diffusion they diffuse least right now we move to the next thing in the gaseous state the particles move about randomly at high speed because the particles of gas have got spaces between them they have got less force of attraction between them so they move here and there randomly they move here and there at the high speed and due to this random movement the particles hit each other hit each other and also the walls of the container the pressure exerted by the gas is because of the force exerted by the gas particles per unit area on the walls of the container let's consider this um, the solid liquid and gaseous state as somewhat to your classroom situation so when you are seated in your classroom with the teacher teaching a particular subject you all represent let us omit the ignore the spaces between the different rows you know which state you people resemble you resemble the solid state right you people are sitting quietly close to each other so there is minimum negligible space between them right no two students are seated on one seat so we cannot have the third and the fourth student make uh, seated in that particular seat so you cannot be compressed there's no more space there so that you could be squeezed into making three or four children sit together right there is a definite shape of this particular solid state you cannot move yes however you can move about your places you can rotate you can turn around to take the book from your friend who is sitting behind you you can bend down to take something from maybe pick up the water bottle right so you can move around your place you can vibrate around your place but you do not leave your place let's now change the situation the bell rings the teacher leaves the classroom now the students start moving to here and there to another one corner of the room which state are you in liquid state the particles have spaces between them right and this is because of the less force of attraction between them as compared to the solid state the particles can move around freely now right now they this is what we say it is a fluid state now let's say it's the bell bell rings for the interval interval time now do you remember which state you are in you are in the gaseous state the children run out of the classrooms here and there particles are running around randomly at the high speed so while moving around the high speed your times hit each other your times hit the walls the pillars right so this is what we talk about the pressure exerted by the gases and where are you found so some children of some uh, children of your class they are found in the ground some are found on the first floor second floor too far away from each other this is a gaseous state now we have got these three diagrams which show the arrangement of particles in the solid state and the liquid state and the gaseous state try finding out comparing the characteristic of the particles of solid liquid and gas we'll discuss it later again <clears throat> right in the next class we'll discuss it later and then i'll give you certain questions so that we know whether you could understand the subject or not so i repeat you're going to study things the arrangement of the particles in the solid state the liquid state and the gaseous state try comparing the force of attraction between them the kinetic energy the space between them the shape compressibility volume rigidity fluidity and then we'll discuss the question answers later